Hey friends, it's Russ here again, having more daisy lever gun fun. Now we're going to uh, stray a little bit from the common lever guns that we always talk about. You know, the ones that have oh, something like this to cock the gun with. So what we're going to talk about today is a gun that is a pneumatic Daisy's Powerline 35. And on the pneumatic, it has a lever, but the lever pushes a plunger, which pumps air into it, and it holds its air pressure, and that's why it's called a pneumatic. Now, someone got creative with this gun, and I'm sure they had a lot of fun with it, but they probably also had a lot of distress about what went wrong with this gun. It's been abused. I mean, let's face it, it's been abused, and we can tell this not so much by the outside of the gun, although there is a decent amount of rust on the metal here, and it looks like some fading on the camo effect on this Model 35. Also, the elevator's missing, and they thought they would just stick a penny underneath of there to hold the rear sight up in position. This is a neat rear sight, too, because it has a little screw which gives you windage adjustment. So it has elevation and windage. I think we're going to replace that penny with the proper thing. Something else is awry here. If you look at the little bolt pin inside of here, let's if I can get close enough to see it, you notice something missing? What is missing is the little magnet that is supposed to be attached to the end of that. Now, whenever I got this gun, I found out one other problem. It wouldn't fire. You cannot pull the trigger if the bolt is not totally forward in function. So, whenever that bolt is not there, where it should be, the trigger doesn't fire. No matter how many times you pump it, no matter what you do to it. If you can get it to close all the way, the trigger will permit the gun to fire and release any pressure that you've pumped into it. Now, this one does pump a lot of good pressure. So, in messing around with it, I was trying to see what was wrong. Well, we know one thing is wrong. That magnet's missing. So, somebody was probably beating on this, and they got the magnet out of there. So, it won't hold a BB in place. It will shoot very well if you put a pellet in place though because it does push the pellet up just far enough even without the little point of that magnet to be able to shoot something out of it so why would it not close all the way why would it only close to about here i took a uh, makeshift ramrod which i use on these guns quite a bit piece of coat hanger because that fits down through the 17 caliber barrels pretty easily and I pushed it all the way out and sure enough what looked like a BB that was stuck in the breech popped out of it turns out it wasn't a BB at all it was a hemisphere little piece that looked like a BB looked like half of a BB it was actually a piece of plastic beading. I guess someone got tired of shooting just regular ammunition out of these things. They tried to stick a plastic bead inside of it, totally the wrong size, and it did not fire. It simply jammed into the breech, and it would not permit the bolt to close any further than that. Without the bolt closing all the way, no matter how much pressure you have, it will not release the pressure behind the projectile. So, not only was this gun abused as far as the sights were concerned, and not only was it abused and left to the elements so that it faded and has rust on it, not only was it abused that the magnet was missing, this gun was probably beat on and caused the magnet to escape. But watch this. Now that we have it in place, I can pump. It's very stiff. I mean, there is a lot of pressure build up. And the cross bolt safety luckily still does operate. 
push the safety and listen. Did you hear that nice crisp sound? It does release pressure. So, nice Model 35. They're still in production. You can still get these from Daisy now with or without the camo. Some of them have black stocks on them. Some of them have the camo effect. But if you get one, don't abuse it. Take care of it, and it should last you a long time. Well, this is Russ having more Daisy Lever Gun fun with an explanation of what happens whenever somebody abuses their little pneumatic gun. And the 856s are similar to this kind of construction. Um, you have a similar receiver for your 880s. There are differences. There are some like the uh, 840s, which are only a single pump. This is a multi-pump. But whenever you're trying to uh, have fun with your gun, remember, it does take a certain amount of maintenance. Well, we'll see you next time. And if you have any uh, questions or comments, don't forget the subscribe button, the thumbs up button, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Have a good day.